Highlights, race number nine of the championship, a cloudy sky, threatening showers in the background, cool temperatures and a great drag race between the teammates, McLaughlin and Coulthard at turn one. Scott prevailed, but only just. We reckon there was the tiniest of touches between the two cars. I'll go and have a look at the front and rear bumpers afterwards on that one. Some incredible battles up and down the field. The mid-pack battles were pretty willing, normal deal. Everybody flinched pretty early just in case they got trapped by the pit lane closure. There were a couple of people that really benefited from their strategy. David Reynolds moved from qualifying 12th and came up into fourth in the end. Some bump and grind between Courtney and Slade. Both of those blokes ended up in the wars a little bit later. And there's Slade, and there is Courtney. So tyres popping on those cars. I wonder whether it was related to contact or whether that was completely unrelated. This was a pretty interesting moment and it would be one that gets debriefed in great detail. Right front wheel not correctly torqued up on Jamie Wincup's car. Wheelnut Parts Company and the wheel was trying to and eventually it did down at Siberia. The team were on the radio telling him to stop, stop, stop. Fortunately the 20 plus kilos of that wheel and tyre didn't leap the fence and it was a sad trip back on the flatbed truck. Triggered the Vodafone safety car and the field were under the control of Scott McLaughlin. Then not long after we had the same deal. Different end of the car though for Mark Winterbottom. Fortunately it was down at MG Corner and there are no spectators in the background down there. This was a pretty wild moment. Rick Kelly, Shane Van Gisbergen and Cam Waters, they locked horns down there and it broke the right rear suspension on the Monster Energy Ford Falcon. Nobody particularly at fault, but it had consequences for Waters, which was a great shame. So in the end, nice work for number 17, the young Kiwi, for Scott McLaughlin. He's moved his victory tally in 2019 on to seven. One, two for the championship, particularly impressive. And tomorrow, race number 10, 200 Ks.